were stepping out of Taj Hotel, there was a bus that came in, mm. and that was it. So now we knew that Indian cricket team, especially Chennai Super Kings, were almost about to exit from that bus. Right. Welcome back to Learn with Sam and Ash. In this video, we are launching a new series. Ash, what is the series called? This new series is Let's Talk About. Now the topics that we're going to cover in this series will range from your daily conversation to your meeting discussions as well as some controversial topics and also some current affairs that we can include in this series. Well actually I'm worried about the controversial topics but okay let's see. Um, well according to this series we have something new started like she said and today we're going to talk about sports. Yeah. Why are you talking about sports? Yeah, before we dive into sports and answering your questions, uh -huh. Sam, like why are we talking about sports as the first priority, I want to highlight that this is episode one. Uh -huh. So similarly, in this series, let's talk about, you will find multiple episodes. And these episodes are also launched on our podcast on Spotify exclusively. So if you guys want to check out the podcast, go through the link in the description box. One more thing I would like to add. By the time you reach the month end, that is 30th video, 30th video, You'll be getting 300 words practiced. Correct. Every video will have at least 10 words, that is new words, added to your vocabulary or, you know, to your arsenal, basically. Right. So the first word you can pick from here is arsenal. arsenal. That's collection. Right. Now, uh, let, me, let me come to the question, Sam, which you asked me. Why is our first episode about sports? Now, since you all know there's IPL going on. Right. And I think three more matches are left in mm -hmm. IPL. Yes. Uh, before the finals on 28th of May. I am sure there are huge amount of fan following here for IPL. So, uh, we thought let's start our episode with sports itself and keeping IPL somewhere in the discussion. Down right. The line. I feel the word fan is the short version of fanatic. Oh, I'm not metaphor. sure about that. So the word fan is the short and okay. the full word is fanatic. That means going crazy for something. That's interesting. That's, That's going mad for something. That is fanatic. Okay. So if you are crazy about something, if you are mad about you're something, fanatic. you are a fanatic. And <laughs> if you are crazy about Sam and Ash, which you are not, we can call you a fanatic in that right. case. Now, right. Sam, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when you were in school, mm -hmm. were you a fanatic of sports by any chance? Not actually sports. I was more into athletics. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, running, you know, long jumping and high jumping, though I never won. Mm -hmm. I only won something uh, called karate and all. So I was mul in multiple things, mainly into gymnasium and athletics. What about you? Okay. Uh, I was, I can call myself as a sports person, like sports loving person because I grew up in a family where I've seen my father being an mm -hmm. athlete for his entire life. Mm -hmm. My brother was, a, 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 I think, national level volleyball champion and right. I myself had gone to some levels of basket, uh, badminton sports mm -hmm. and also um, I was more of an outdoor person rather right. than an indoor person. Mm -hmm. Were you the same or do you like certain mm -hmm. kinds of sports which are indoor as well? Well, till certain age, I would say till 8th grade and then you know later we have this thing called board exams, 10th mm -hmm. exam. So I was told that 9th and 10th are related to each other. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I never started anything after 8th. Till 8th, I used to go to sports and have some games, you know. Okay. Of course, they were not arenas as in, you know, hmm. as in full stadiums. They were empty grounds and we used to just go there and make our own pitch. And our right. These days, uh, if you want to watch a match or mm -hmm. if you want to play a big level sports, you have to go to arenas to, for doing that. Or stadiums. Or stadiums. So, mm -hmm. in a way, if you don't want to say stadium, you can say arena. Right. In that case. Exactly. So, uh, uh, when, I, when I talk about sports, I have a personal favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. And I think I enjoy playing table tennis these days as an outdoor Me too. game. Yes. You introduced that game to me, so of course you love it. So uh, I am under the impression, Sam, that you enjoy indoor games a lot, especially yes. e-gaming these days. True. What's what's behind that? Like, what's your interest behind e-gaming? Well, it, like I said, till 8th grade, I used to do a lot of sports and athletics, but then eventually it stopped. Mm -hmm. Definitely something was, you know, hiding in there and I had to get it out. But mm -hmm. there were no grounds or anything when I was living in Germany. So there's no option. And eventually I got into e-gaming called, you know, uh, FPS gaming, you know, so frame, uh, this is, this is different. You know, first person shooter is different than normal gaming. That is shooting basically. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I got into that and now I feel that I made a mistake. I could have gotten to athletics or gymnasium. I could have, um, you know, have a better body than, but it's okay. It's all life. Accept <laughs> it and move on. So uh, I, I tried indoor gaming, mm-hmm. especially the e-gaming portals a lot mm-hmm. after being in contact with you. I've mm-hmm. tried mobile gamings. I've tried car racing. I've mm-hmm. tried FPS. Mm-hmm. I've tried all sorts of games that you play. And believe it or not, after like, 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play this sport anymore. But when I talk about uh, sports, which involves a lot of physical activity, mm-hmm. which is outdoor as well. So I enjoy them right. a lot more than compared uh, compare to the indoor games. It and has also, to do, I believe, something with, like you said, the family. Right. So everyone used to do that. You looked at them, you know, became was, your idol. Like right. It. I wasn't introduced to e-gaming until I was 24 or 25 years mm-hmm. old. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. before that, I was all about carrom boards few of the indoor games yes. from my childhood days. Snake and Ladder, right. Carrom Boats, Ludo and all, right? They were amazing. Uh, but I think when you do sports outdoor or, you know, the traditional sports such as cricket, football, there is something called physique mm-hmm. that gets better. Right. So of how, how would you shed some light on that? Yeah. So every time I feel that I have put on some weight, mm-hmm. if I feel that I am not feeling the right amount of weight I should be carrying on myself. Mm -hmm. I always tend towards playing certain outdoor games. Mm -hmm. I enjoy playing Coco at this age itself because it has a lot of physical activity involved. Right. These days I'm enjoying uh, treadmill running. Mm -hmm. I I don't think walking on a treadmill is a sport by any chance. It's an exercise. It's an exercise. Right, right, right. It involves physical activity, so I enjoy that. It does, it does. I enjoy playing badminton. I enjoy playing table tennis. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, it releases a certain kind of an hormone in your body when you do physical exercises and that's why it has a huge impact on the way you feel and the way your body reacts to that particular hormone. I totally agree with that. Yeah. I totally agree with that. But when you know when you do these things such as um, running on a treadmill or doing exercise, if you have some spectators, that would help because hmm. they cheer. You know, they cheer you on basically. Correct, correct, they correct. cheer you up and you eventually do it more. That's the best thing. And even when we have spectators in picture, they do suggest a certain tactic, tactics there. We try to work as per their suggestion. But then they convert from spectators to then guides and coaches. Then. Critics. critics. Say that. <laughs> Sometimes right. critics, yes. Right. right. But it's fun to enjoy and tackle mm-hmm. those situations. When I agree. You, when somebody suggesting you something, mm-hmm. you analyze that thing and you try to implement it. So, so Ash there's a lot of tackling going on there. So you're talking about indoor sports. Let's go back to mm-hmm. you know, outdoor. Have you seen any uh, person who is famous in this, you know, in this time? Uh, uh, who is about? into sports, cricket, football, anyone in real life? I have met them. I mean, saw them, met them. Ah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, recently I was in Delhi uh-huh. and you were there too. Mm-hmm. I was in Delhi. We were in Taj Hotel. We went yeah. there for a meeting. And when we were coming out of the hotel, mm-hmm. uh, I saw a huge crowd. Like, a lot of people were standing there and they were wearing IPO Maybe t-shirt. we can show the video, guys, when we're talking. Sure, the we, you can show them the glimpse of what yes, we're talking about. Exactly. So, there were people who were uh, wearing uh, yellow color IPL t-shirts. I think that's for Chennai. Team Chennai, Chennai or Delhi, I don't know. No, that was Chennai. Team Chennai. Yes, 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 because so we MS Dhoni was. And if you remember, we have a lot of people in our family who are huge fan of IPL mm. and especially Chennai, MS Dhoni. Mm. So I told Sam, Sam, just wait, like let's hold on, let's let's record this mm-hmm. thing. We'll share it with people that care right. about IPL. Honestly, you and I, we don't care about cricket that much <laughs> these days. Yes, we don't. Right, so uh, we, we stood there for some time and then somebody told us, these guys are late. So Sam was like, you know, let's go, I don't want to waste my thing here. And then all of a sudden, when we were stepping out of Taj Hotel, there was a bus that came in. Mm. And that was it. So now we knew that Indian cricket team, especially Chennai Super Kings, were almost about to exit from that bus. Right. It kind of raised our excitement to the next because level. Because you see people cheering up, you know, they were right. shouting around. So the energy became positive. Positive then, rather than thinking, I ah, leave it. No, doesn't matter. But I guess people will be happy to see that video who are into sports, especially cricket, right? So the only cricketer which I think I, how many cricketers did you recognize from that video? Just one. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not into cricket at all. Uh, I, I show this to my brother actually. He's he recognized each and every person, each even the every, coaches. Right. They like, remember the coaches. Coaches were well. like, oh, this is a coach and everything. I no. I could recognize Jadeja. 
and there was someone called Chahar or Chahar, Chahar? Uh, Deepak Chahar was there Deepak in that Chahar, team. I guess. MS Dhoni was there Bravo was there in that team I have never heard about I remember Bravo honestly. from the song DJ Bravo Bravo <laughs> <laughs> okay um well this was about what we have gone through and guys if you have met any person any sports person and you like that person please write in the comments let us know right and if you have seen any person also leave a like that i i have one last question to uh-huh. add here have you ever beaten any one in the game that you played either indoor or outdoor well yesterday yes. i beat yesterday before yesterday i actually did beat you in, in Table tennis. So oh my God, I didn't play table tennis with you yesterday. No, not table. Yesterday. Let's say within a week, I did. I I I don't even remember. Okay, next time, guys, I'll record it and let you know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe when we have okay. a sports event coming. The so day yeah. you upload something like that, you can say that. These guys might be cheering on, but ah, I okay. won't. Okay. And I'll will. show you how it works at fine, the back end. Fine, 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 fine. So, uh, so, are you a competitive, a competitive person by yourself? Honestly, no. I I don't yeah. like I don't like this um, mm-hmm. that pressure that okay. that builds up you know especially when you're playing you're playing for fun that's why it's called play no? but if <laughs> not I'm not both. wrong you enjoy making other people compete yes i and like that's wrong. teaching them i like teaching no, them no, no. I clearly remember mm-hmm. if two girls are standing like I me and my let's friend, say let's if my friend or my bhabhi or my sister in law if I still remember when mm-hmm. we were in Bangalore mm-hmm. and uh, my sister in law mm-hmm. was living with me so this guy over here used to make us compete he yes. would tell us you know why don't you guys pick up this something this yes. and we were so competitive we would just hate each other <laughs> just to win that competition and we never realized that this guy was doing it intentionally so that the best part is and if you, you don't do compete it. if you don't compete see someone else competing that's best so yeah, yeah, enjoy that but the be the spectator then we <laughs> were so immature i think that's the correct pronunciation yeah. is that yeah immature and amateurs are different. amateur that's the word amateurs are use. people who are new in sports i correct. think that's what we're talking so, about so yes uh, you are amateurs you mean i we were amateurs we didn't realize that you were doing it out of fun mm. and we were immature at the same time <laughs> that we would fall for it and we would let our guards down and we would just crave to win yeah so and guys, i was like sitting if, and enjoying with the coffee that <laughs> if you guys are playing something if you are enjoying sports mm-hmm. let's take out that factor out yes. and enjoy the sportsmanship see winning or losing right. or beating someone or winning against anyone it's is something different the first thing like i said it's called a game or a sport mm-hmm. or a play because you enjoy it it's not something you study i want to get first grade in in the class that's also wrong though but still you enjoy it doesn't matter what person other person says you know how many match have i won said so win one more right. but if i don't enjoy it it's not worth playing right uh, have you ever got any penalty while you were playing a sport multiple times mm-hmm. i by mistake actually have um, you know of course i threw the ball outside sometime intentionally so that they can't goal <laughs> <laughs> sometime by mistake it it's football in football you have to do that okay. otherwise you know you you lose the game right so it happens and your friends become your enemy but actually that animosity you know that 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 mm-hmm. anger used to stay till the ground mm-hmm. by the time you pick your cycle in your childhood yeah but i like, remember everything you have done yes, right so right so that's okay you're now my friend you are different thing different right okay so, so when we we pick up our pick our cycle they like remember how many money how much money you have you owe me because i got the ball <laughs> and, and i bought the football and this and that and we used to say that and by the time we reach home you're coming tomorrow right right that's, that's the best true. part of it there's no competition as soon as you leave the ground i i i also think there is a change of perspective that has happened when it comes to sports mm-hmm. earlier when we were kids we enjoyed going out we right. enjoyed hanging out with friends we never cared about even the sunlight right it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon yeah, we are still in the ground yes, and our mother hot. used to like come back come back and, and, like, and i used to come back and have a glass of milk and run and then back. ran, ran <laughs> away back. right and these days it makes me sad honestly when mm. i see my nephews and my see society mates neighbors kids and everybody they are so much into mobile gaming they are watching tiktok Free videos fire, that's what i've heard yes and Never they are watching it. vlogs of other people mm. it kind of makes me sad that these people or these kids are missing out the best days of our life i Because think uh, it's not their fault these days never come back it's not their fault mm. i'll tell you when you put great food on one side and junk food on other mm. every person will go for the great food is it 
yes okay you, you have to make it great hmm. you have to make it good and you know tasty and, and healthy but what happens is when you do not give an option to them hmm. what do they have right. what so is easily available what you are trying to say is that kids these days do not have an option of going out and playing hmm. they don't even know that this right. thing exists exactly. only thing they know is mobile phone mobile phone because they have never Makes seen sense. any person seeing you know i mean in their family like you have in your family hmm. 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 right that's true uh, so guys please if you see anyone playing a uh, sports with phone tell them let's try play let's try something together so being a parent rather being than criticizing elder, them right being an elder person in the family take the kids out you know hold their hands and show them you know this is how kho kho is played this is true, how hide and seek is played true that that i don't totally agree so rather than saying that they are bad they're not yeah kids cannot be bad kids cannot kids they, cannot be bad this is just limited information they, so they react to that you cannot uh, enjoy what you have not even tried that's true that's true i'll give you 100 points out of 100 right. <laughs> so so uh, i would say that uh, guys uh, this was a uh, a uh, time this is the time where we are going through the first time in the generation hmm. where mobile phone is you know in its peak correct correct now if you uh, say that what's going to happen in future we don't know that what we can do is we can try to salvage the situation that's true that's true so uh since we were talking about sports we we discussed about what kinds of sports we played when we were kids mm-hmm. we discussed topics like what is ipl and what kind of sports we enjoy the most right what's the difference between indoor games and outdoor games mm-hmm. how physical activity changes from indoor to outdoors and while doing it we kind of discussed more than 12 words in this discussion right, right. more than that they will be highlighted them, right <laughs> 10 of them were related to sports which mm-hmm. you can directly use mm-hmm. and three or four were more like discussion based vocab so i think um, it's interesting that you know while you listen to something like this you can actually learn new words right right, right? and and let me tell you guys in this series if you're expecting a lot of you know pompous things you know and and editing and and having fun no that's not how you learn you right. learn by listening by having and having this conversation we are having this conversation hmm. you can have the same thing at your home right so as i highlighted we had a uh, topics that we discussed in this discussion hmm. you can pick any topic you can you can tell your friends you know what let's talk about indoor games and outdoor games True. that's a huge topic True. in itself you can discuss how physical activity changes from indoor to outdoor that's again a I discussion agree. i agree so similarly you can pick 10 topics or let's say five topics from this discussion mm-hmm. and create a conversation with your friends you can and most importantly uh one thing which i feel will make you an effective and a confident speaker is your energy you speak with hmm do you think that's valid yes so when you say that i want to learn how to write hmm. you cannot learn how to write while speaking Mm-hmm. So you want to learn how to speak you cannot learn how to speak by reading you cannot that can be an extra thing to add can a cat list Correct. but cannot be the main way or the the major way to learn to do that So in order to speak start speaking start speaking in order to write better start, start writing listening. in order to rem- understand better start listening that's Correct. what you're doing right now you're having an input later you will have an output that you will do with your friends and family and do not forget to comment that you have seen some cricketer football player any sports person right in your life you have and met a fan follower right so a you fan. you will be the fan right. sorry <laughs> you will the follower <laughs> you have seen your idol basically all right then so i think we'll we'll wind up this session yes. this was your episode 1 from the series mm-hmm. let's talk about this is also converted into a podcast on our platforms on our mm-hmm. plat on the platform call spotify sometimes spotify this happens you know we get stuck that's, that's okay you're okay. not going to edit that by the definitely way definitely not <laughs> fumbling is a part of growing yes always remember you should that. always remember that yes. exactly teachers can also fumble because this I is i do fumble all we the are time. humans in the end right come on you are a, we all are humans so we do fumble right right so let's let's catch up in the next video which uh-huh. is going to be tomorrow enjoy yourself have fun Bye-bye. enjoy guys